guess they don't mess around. No. Can't be 704.30 or it's got to be 705 on the button. As uh, we are underway, game two oh. here as Aiden Hansen Bucata, one of the goal scorers last night, will dump it in. Oh. Not only blown oh. for one. Here's Fukakusa going down low. Fukakusa yes. puts it in. Woo! Just 117 in the game. The Tigers take a one nothing lead. Count it. The big save by Tommy. And then R.I.G. gets the rush going the other way. We talked about that line. Oh, the freshman line, the newbie line. Look at this great outlet pass. And the timing on that pass couldn't have been any better. Couldn't have been any better. Wanted a fast start. How's that for a fast start? Welcome back, Tyler Fukakusa. Fukakusa did not play last night. The opportunity for Niagara. Goes by the boards. Now the Tigers going the other direction. Is Gonzalez yes. scores! <laughs> Elijah Gonzalez makes it 2 nothing. All right, too. Count it. But think about this. Back the other end. Hobbs comes up with that big play, right? Getting down and dirty on the ice. Starts now the movement the other way. And look at this. This is what Gonzalez does best. Tries the puck. Is he looking to pass? No, he's going to take a shot. And then beating Fisk. Two zip Tigers. As Richard delivering a little bit of a hit there at the end. As Niagara trying to get something going here physically. Two on one the other direction. Here come the Tigers. It's Wilkie going in. Wilkie fires and scores! Count it! 3 nothing. R.I.T. Woo! Again, the Tigers get the two-on-one. They've had a couple of odd man rushes. Their first goal at odd man rush, this one at odd man rush. And the Tigers just pushing the puck again. A catch Niagara napping. They push the puck. This is what the Tigers using that breakaway speed, playmaking skills. The number 21 has been doing it now for three years. Fans wanted a call. They don't get it. As Mahan is on the near side. Oh! Mahan! Oh! And it's going to be denied in the last second. That net was open. Carter Wilkie, the creator, gets upended. And now the Tigers coming ahead. Here's Michael Giannakis going in. Shoots and scores! Dimitri Micro Giannakis! John, that is his first of the season. It's 4 0. Let me say it. Dagger time for the Tigers. Count it. First of the year. Couldn't come at a better time for the Tigers. D -d -d Dagger. <laughs> R.I.T. Yes, sir. Off the glass, this will go. Oh, there's the turnover in front as Richard sends that wide. The rebound. The Tigers are out of sorts here. Rebound, and that yeah. goes. It's an own goal off of Wilkie. Off of Wilkie. And uh, Niagara was applying pressure, so greasy goal for the Purple Eagles. It's four to one. And it starts uh, because of a Tiger turnover in their own end. And Niagara takes advantage, and they've got a pulse. Yeah, it kind of goes in off of Wilkie. We're going to see this, as you mentioned, an own goal for the uh, Tigers. Pinballs right? around. It goes off the skate of Hans Bucata, oh, and, and then and then off. Up the leg of Wilkie. Wilkie. Okay, there you go. Ott up top in the high slot. Ott with the blast from the outside sends it wide as Rancliffe along the wall. Tigers in this diamond here formation. We're down to 47 seconds remaining here in the Niagara power play. Rancliffe shoots. Scarponi in the rebound in front. It's four oh to boy. two. Look out. Four to two. Niagara, the power play, it's going to be Wallace getting that rebound for the Purple Eagles. Out in front there, kind of left undetended. All of a sudden, we got a game at 4-2. And they finally solve the penalty kill of the Tigers. And it comes at a great time for the Purple Eagles. To get it out, Tigers have an empty yeah. net. Off to the race, it's just hard. Hobbs, can he get to it? No! Nicholson, teeing it up, sending it ahead, going ahead. Gonzalez, yes! Woo! You betcha, I do!
We'll see you next Saturday. Fans on their feet, closing seconds here tonight, and the RIT Tigers will see you next Saturday night for the championship game in Atlantic Hockey. Your final score here tonight, the RIT Tigers 5-9-2. The Tigers take the series in two. It's been a long eight years, but the Tigers are back. In the conference finals with a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line, Tommy Scarfoni, had a magnificent weekend. And the Tigers again on that mission. Unfinished business. They're one game away from getting back to the NCAA tournament. The talent on this team and just another A-plus job yep. by the coaching staff of Wayne Wilson, Brian Hills, and Dave Insulaka. And think about it. I mean, they had, a na they had to navigate without Fukakusa last night. I mean, you're hopeful that Cody can come back next weekend in that winner-take-all game next Saturday. They've got an illness and a bug going through the team. But they found a way to get it done. And again, uh, hard-fought series here where Give Niagara credit, they made it a little uncomfortable in they the did. third here tonight. I'll give them credit, they didn't fold their tent in the third. We knew they wouldn't. They got that greasy goal and the power play goal, so they made the Tigers earn the victory tonight. And that's what the Tigers did. They earned it, and they're off again to the conference uh, finals. So we do not know, and likely we won't know, uh, because there's four minutes left out at the Hart Center. AIC is up 2-0 on Holy Cross. Okay, so, so that, that. Uh, even though this game started after that one, that one hasn't finished up yet. And uh, we'll all be watching tomorrow night. Yep, scoreboard and, watching. And I'm sure they're not happy out in Massachusetts thinking, hey, we could have been able to host. Nope, you'll be coming here. Yep.